Welcome to Siva Circle 1 8. Welcome back to the channel and thank you for all the new subscribers we received lately. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with that notification bell so you can always be notified anytime we release a video. Guys, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to add our Plex server on our end player. So if you have an end player and you want to add your own videos, your own movie collection, anything that you have and you have uploaded on your PC, you can do that. So you can access your Plex server on your end player along with the services that you're already using on it. Stay tuned and we're going to talk more about it. <laughs> Okay guys, let's jump right into it. So right now I have my imp player open. This is a particular imp player that was given to me by a particular company. It doesn't matter as long as you have yourself an imp player that has all of the menu options working, a premium version of the imp player. Now, once you have that, the second thing that we do need to have is our own Plex server. So this video is not gonna go over how to create your own Plex server. So you have to have your own Plex server already created, already installed on your PC or your NVIDIA Shield, whatever device that you have set up as a server. As long as that's set up already and you have yourself the end player, we can continue from here. So let's open up our end player. Let's go to our menu. In the menu options, you're going to have an area called settings. In the settings, go to where it says movies and series. Now, you're going to see there's two different options here, actually three. The first option is to manage the movie and series source. So let's say you have a source for another company that you want to use, that you prefer their VOD over the company that you're using, or you just want multiple selections of VODs, you can add an extra video on demand option here okay so you can add an extra video on demand option here by selecting the first option now the second option is the plex server so now once you have your plex server set up this is the option you're going to select you also have an option for Embry as well so um if you have that this is going to be a separate video but the concept will be similar, okay? Maybe a little bit different on how you wanna access something called a token, but should be very similar. So we're gonna add a Plex server. So let's select this option. Now this is the part right here that we have to pay attention to. It's asking that we add our Plex token. Now I'm gonna show you how to access your own Plex token. Every server will have its own. You can also change it to where instead that you add the token, you can just add the credentials of your um, server. So this will be the username and the password. So if you have a username and password of your server, you can select this option. But I'm going to show you how to do it by adding the token. Okay, so let's go over to our desktop to where the server is um, installed. Um, if your server is installed on a different device, it's okay. All you have to do is log in with your, your username and password on the Plex website to get access to your, your Plex server via desktop, okay? So let's take it over to the desktop. Okay, so I'm on my desktop. I went to the Plex website. I signed in to my account and have access to my Plex server on the desktop. Now, this part is very simple. All you have to do is select any movie or any TV show that's on your server. So let's say I select this particular show right here. So all I have to do is click on the um on the show. There's a little three dot menu on the bottom right. Select that. 
from there go to the bottom where it says get info and we're going to select that now from here you're going to see something that says view as xml this is the option we're going to select now once in here you're going to see a lot of coding a lot of different um things in here for the um xml code we're not going to focus on that what we're going to do actually is we're going to go up to the um, address bar now um i can't show you my token but when you go to the url on top scroll all the way to the right you're going to see something that says plex token equals and there's a value there copy that whole entire value okay guys so once again go into the url that's the area where you type www dot whatever you're going to see something there already just scroll all the way to the end until you see plex token equals there's going to be some letters there you might have an underscore as well mixed in there you're going to copy that whole entire area of that particular token don't copy plex token equals just what's after the equal sign you're going to highlight it and you're going to copy it so you can email it to yourself or you can save it on a note on your desktop um just make sure you remember that token and make sure you um copy it exactly how it is so if it's uppercase or lowercase you're going to remember to put it exactly what it is okay now once we have that we can head back over to the end player okay now we're back on the device and we're in the area where we have to add the token so just select that area and that exact token that you copied you're going to actually place right here okay so placing that token and hit next okay after you enter that token go down to where it says search select search now what you're going to see is you're going to see a few ways that they're going to utilize your token to access your um, server so what i recommend is going to each of them one by one and then select and check now after you select check you're going to see a little message pop up saying if it found something if it finds zero just continue to the next one nine movie categories and nine tv show categories so it's going to find it for you once it finds it for you you can select add but it's going to automatically already know it says the server has already been added now we're going to back out out of here from here guys you're going to go back into the menu you're going to go to where it says movies and shows and then you're going to select the new plex server that we just added and here we go this is my plex server so um TV shows are right here. I can go on top and I can switch to movies. And these are the movies. You can change the view if you want to a vertical list. And we have complete access to my Plex server. So this is really cool. Let's give it a minute. It's going to fix the artwork for you. Okay, so let's test it out. Let's see how it plays. There you go. And that was very quick. It played it's playing perfectly. And this is how you add it to your um to your end player. So I just added my Plex server to my end player. Stay tuned. Okay guys, that brings us to the end of the video. I hope that was useful. It's not too complicated, you know, it's something fairly simple. So I hope that helps you out if you wanted to use your own videos and your own TV shows on your end player. So this is pretty cool something that you can just add alongside with whatever videos and movies you have on your service so this is this is definitely really cool guys tell me what you think about it leave all your comments down below if you have anything to add anything to take away all is thank you for watching the video don't forget to hit that like button and with that said i hope you enjoyed